Hello everyone and welcome back one last time to the third and final episode of this little mini series creating a Twitch or an IRC bot. Um, in this episode we're going to actually end up building the bot itself, connecting to Twitch and seeing everything work, hopefully, if it all goes well. I'm building it right here with you so I don't know if it'll work, but hopefully it will. So last time we created our config, we created utils, which has a bunch of very important functions. Um, now it's time to put it all together in our third and final file called bot.py. As you may guess, this file can, will contain our bot. So, bot.py. The code for our bot. So, we have a bunch of imports we need import CFG, import utils, import socket import re import time import thread import oops from time import sleep and we can eh, we don't need to do re this stuff here okay so the way a python program works if you're not familiar is they need to know how, where to run from so the way people generally do it is if name equals main, do something. So I'm going to make a function called main here, where for now we're just going to print hello. Just to make sure Python's running and everything's working, we're going to just do this very simple program not using any of our code. Now I've actually never run a program in PyCharm before. So I'm learning. All right, there you go. So it didn't let me click it up here. I had to go to run and run for the first time. But now from now on, I'll be able to click this nice little button. Hello prints, meaning that it finds this function. All is good. So we can connect to Twitch now. So we have a few networking things we need to get out of the way first. So s equals socket dot socket. That's our socket that's going to connect to Twitch. So connect cfg dot host, which is Twitch. cfg dot port. Host is irc dot twitch dot tv. Port is what we put in there before, 6667, I think. So now the socket should be connected. And now we have to send um, send the IRC server a few things so that it logs us in. All these things have to be in a very specific format. So pass is the first thing. CFG.pass encode utf8. That's just how it wants it. So we give it what it wants. Next up is nick for nickname. Same deal as pass. Format cfg.nick encode utf8. And then finally we have to send a join which is going to be the channel we're actually we want to join. CFG.chan encode UTF8. Okay. Next up, we want the message that we're actually going to be sending to the chat. We're going to change this message. This is the format though that um, 
this is the format that the message needs to be in in order for it to get to the IRC server properly. So we're going to call it chat message equals RE. So I kind of skipped over it before. RE stands for regular expression. That's what we imported up above, and that's what we're using here. RE.compile. Now, this is ugly. This is a regular expression. Just to, We need this format in order for the message to get to the service. Just follow along. R quotes that, yes, W plus, exclamation point, W plus, at W plus, dot TMI, dot, dot Twitch, dot TV, PRIV MSG again, plus colon like that so that's ugly I can figure out what that means but I don't feel like it right now just a regular expression I'm sure some of you know what it means already we're gonna say utils dot chat s hi everyone that's what limeotes bot says when he joins a chat this could be whatever you want the bot to say when they join a chat for the first time so if this gets sent to the chat room and you see it, that means that the bot successfully connected. And then we're going to start our new thread. Now remember in our utils we created that op list function. We're going to do that in another thread so that it doesn't hang, um, doesn't make our bot hang at all. It's always running, doing its thing. So start new thread, utils, we need to give it the function thread fill op list. We're not calling it, we're just giving it the function so we don't need the uh, parentheses. No arguments. That's it. So that everything's set up now. Now we just need to run the actual loop for our bot. This is what's going to happen every time around um, while the bot is running. So we need a response, which is what. Um, what the bot's pulling back from the IRC server, so what people have said pretty much, any messages coming from the server. See 1024 decode UTF 8. Okay. If response equals ping TMI Twitch TV. Sometimes a, the IRC server sends um, the people in a chat a ping message that you don't see while you're happens in the background. And in, in order to make sure people are still connected, all that kind of stuff. So this it's a ping message. And what it's expecting back is a Pong message. So we have to send it. If it gets a ping message, we have to send back a Pong message. To tell it that we're here, we're the real deal. Let us stay. Okay. So if it's that message, we send back a pong. Otherwise, it's some other kind of message. So we want to read it. So first, we want to figure out who said it. So I'll say username equals search. Another regular expression. This will get the first thing in the message, which is the name. The first word in the message, which is the name. Save it in username. That's the person who said whatever message it just read. Then we want to get the actual message itself, which comes back in this ugly format from above. So we're going to use that ugly format to take a substring. We're going to print response so that whatever message was said gets said in our terminal for our, in the console, really, for our bot. 
And now for the fun part that we've all been waiting for. Custom commands. These are commands that the bot will interpret. So basically, if someone in the chat says exclamation point time, I want my bot to say the current time in the chat. So if message dot strip equals time utils dot chat, this is going to be the message we send back. So someone said exclamation point time, the bot read it, now he's going to say something back. It's going to say, it is currently time, and this is just a Python function to get the time, the date and time. You can look up what all of these mean. It's not too confusing. And you'll see it run in a second. That's what happens if someone says exclamation point time. If message dot strip equals messages, utils dot chat. Please give Limo to follow at Twitch at Twitter. All follows are greatly appreciated. Now the nice thing is, you can have him say multiple things. Go to patreon.com slash limo to support me. So we're going to see all this get said when I type exclamation point messages. Now I only want these messages to get read if I'm an operator of some sort. So I'm a moderator in my chat, so I'll be able to run them. So to, to do that, the whole reason we have that op list and everything, we're gonna say, if message.strip equals messages, and utils.isop username, this checks to see if they are an op. If they are, the bot will respond. Otherwise, I'll just ignore them, okay? That's it. So then we're going to sleep for one second and then go back around the loop and wait for more. That's just to make sure it doesn't get flooded. And really, that should be it. So I'm going to open up my Twitch channel now. twitch.tv slash line modes. Uh, let me log in and then I'll bring the I'll bring the screen over. Let me log in. So you don't have to be in fact you shouldn't be logged in as your bot. Be logged in as someone else. So if I log in as Limo, okay. All right. So here I am. Do whatever load. I'm on my channel. This is Limo. It's twitch.tv slash Limo. Here I am. There I am. Okay. So that's just me. That's not the bot or anything, because we didn't run the program yet. So now I'm going to run the program. When I do, keep an eye up here on the chat. You sh we should hopefully, if this works, see the bot connect. But again, I've never tested this, so I don't know if it'll actually work. So I run it, and there it is. It connected successfully. It said, hi, everyone. Now, if I type, hi, making a Twitch bot, as Lime Oats, look down here in the console over here. Hopefully, we'll see. Yep, Lime Oats said this with this weird format. So now, this is a real user. I could moderate, I can make him a moderator, like so. 
So now if I say exclamation point time, hopefully he should give me the time. Yep, so what happened here is Lime Oats bot, not Lime Oats bot, making a Twitch bot saw me type exclamation point time, interpreted that, and spit out the time of day, which is right there. If I type messages, since I'm a mod, he will say these wonderful things. If I wasn't a mod in my chat, he wouldn't say these things. Because I'm in the op list. Okay? So really, that's it. That is how to make a Twitch bot or an IRC bot. We're all connected. You can add whatever commands you want here. All you have to do is restart the program, and you're done. So I hope that this was a fun little project for everybody. Um, if you have questions, you can contact me through any of these channels. Twitter's a good way. Give me a follow there, please. Discord's another good way. You can join the server and, we, and ask me questions at any time. Uh, this tutorial will be linked to from my website, so definitely check that out. GitHub, the code will be up there. Patreon to support me, that would be amazing. And Reddit, the videos will be there as well. So, Thank you all for watching this series. If you have any other requests of anything you'd like to see, little mini tu uh, tutorial series or bigger ones, whatever you're interested in, please let me know and I will look into creating them for you. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you at, during my next project.